is T Y P E cloud in here. Daddy! Pipes are now done and I'm about to add some canola oil and sand. Oil is on. I'll just let that soak its way through the sand. Oil and sand mixture is now set, complete. All I need to do now is put the top layers on. So I'll do that now. Time to give it a paint. I've chosen flat paint this time just so that less light is reflected, more light's absorbed. So there's two thermostats in the in, in the solar heater here through a gland. We've got two tubes here. Um, inside those tubes, basically these things. So my thinking with these two tubes is temperature one temperature monitoring probe. It's just going to go here. It's going to be a wee bit away from the pipes, just in the meat here of the sand, and the controls thermostat is going to go up here for a reason it's going to go near the outlet pipe here reason being all the warm water that's been sitting in there will, will be pumped out and as soon as the cooler water flows through the, this on the outgoing pipe here the temperature sensor for the controls should be able to pick up the difference in temperature and as it drops down it knows that the water all the cold water has all the hot water has now come out and the cold water has hit this point at which it should turn itself off. <coughs> Alright, so we'll test out the new sand battery now. 
Um, as you can see the system here has got a lot more logic to it now, it's a lot more complicated. Um, so first thing we need to do is, it's a bit cold at the moment, <coughs> so we'll trick the uh, solar, we'll turn it down so it turns on. That'll activate the solar, but then we also need to activate the sand battery by tricking that. Okay, so sand battery is now on. <coughs> So, valves are closed on 1 and 2, solar 3 is hot, which is the new sand battery, and currently it's valve is on, so let's turn on the mains. Get pressure as it goes through there. Through the water comes. Quite a lot of pressure on it actually. Hmm. Seems to be a lot more pressure than the compost pile. Oop. Not quite sure why that is. Hmm. It's even causing leaking up there, although that's higher pressure than the pump would be, but right, I'll turn that off. I'll go and check everything out. Once again, no leaking. So good to put the cover on. Cover's now on. So let's test out the Wi-Fi switch. System off. on. Good. System's now running on the pump and good news is I can now run the system on 50 watts. So it'll be interesting to see what 50 watts of power uh, will, will achieve with heating. Um, yeah, so we'll have to see later on. Um, yeah, 